Okay, it is that time again of the quarter. It's time to talk about the categories coming for the next quarter, which is Q1 2023 for Chase and Discover. Let's get into it. So, for Chase, what do we got? We got grocery stores, Target, and gym memberships. For Discover, we got grocery stores, drug stores, and streaming services. So, those are pretty solid categories, if you ask me. Um, Chase and Discover, overlapping, to some people that can be frustrating. I personally don't care. Um, I'll just decide which one I'd rather use at the time and spend on that card, for, and depending on what kind of rewards I wanna earn. But um, yeah, they both overlap in groceries. However, at least with groceries, you can go and get some gift cards to buy stuff on places like Amazon and get your 5% back. So basically you just make your list on Amazon, you'll go, and, you know, go to check out, but don't actually check out. Look at the total of the cart, write it down on a, notepad or something go to the grocery store and buy a gift card as close to that amount as you can get then load it to your amazon account then check out and you'll have your five percent back so you would have just gone to the grocery store and bought that gift card towards amazon you know for a, right around that amount um, gym memberships you know if you already you know have your gym membership charging to just a regular card then just uh you know switch it to chase and pay for your gym membership and for those of you that just love shopping at Target, well, now you can earn some points on Chase for going to Target. Um, I normally go to the local grocery store myself, so I'm not probably going to spend too much money at Target. So I shop there sometimes, but not too often. So I don't care much about Target. And streaming services, um, you know, I don't spend too much money on it. So personally, it won't um, affect me too much. Anyway... Yeah, so those are the bonus categories, and uh, they, you know, should be pretty solid for most people because most of us do go to the grocery store and shop. Um, groceries have gotten more expensive in recent times due to inflation, which has, you know, been a royal pain for all of us. Anyone watching this video has been hit by inflation. So one way to help overcome it is use a credit card that earns good rewards at the grocery store and. Uh, you got the Chase Freedom cards and Discover to help out with that a little bit. Inflation still sucks at the end of the day, regardless of credit card rewards. Um, yep, so those are the bonus categories. So do you love these? Do you hate these? Or do you not care for them? Whatever your opinion is, drop them below. Let me know and let the rest of us know. All right. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you're... Uh, Almost all set for Christmas time. You know, got my Santa hat right here. Put on a different one. This one fits me a little better than that last one you saw me wear. And yeah, so let's uh, have a great holiday season and uh, take care. I'll see you next time. <laughs>